I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test problem on exponential functions. The question here is write equation in the form of f of x equals to a times b to the power of x minus p plus c from the given graph. We have also mentioned critical points which you need to consider to write down equation of this exponential function. I would like you to pause the video, study the graph, write down your equation and then look into my suggestion. Now we have a couple of videos like this and here is a quick solution to this particular problem. Now since it is a test problem, take this uh, solution as a hint right? and then again evaluate and then find out the equation of the given graph. First thing which we should always look into is always horizontal asymptote. Now for this graph, where is horizontal asymptote? A horizontal asymptote is y equals to 10. It looks like it is touching 10, but it is kind of approaching 10, right? So that horizontal asymptote gives you the value of c. So we know c is equals to 10. That is first thing. Second thing is, whenever we have to look for is a y-intercept. So that means at 0, if we assume that the function is not having any vertical stretch, in that case, f of 0 is your is always equals to 1 where vertical stretch is that is to say a equals to 1. So in this particular case since we clearly see horizontal translations we will assume vertical stretch to be 1. It helps to find out the equation simpler or easier right. Now what we also notice is that the graph has been going downwards so there is a reflection on x-axis, right? x-axis. So that means that we have a as indeed equals to minus of 1, right? So I should say 1 is the vertical stretch factor and minus makes it reflection on the x-axis, right? So all this we get from the graph and we also get horizontal translation. You can see from here that if I push it backwards then one unit below I'll get the y-intercept but in the graph, it has been translated 8 units to the right. Do you see that? So, so the point, which is 8, 9, gives us value of horizontal translation P as 8. Now, putting these things together into our equation, we get the equation of the form f of x equals to a we are assuming as minus 1, b to the power of x minus 8 plus c is 10 for us. Now to find the base we can use one of these points right. So we can use the point 9 8. So if I use point 9 8, 9 is the x value, 8 is the y value, then what do I get? So what I get here is 8 equals to minus b to the power of 9 minus 8 plus 10, correct? Bringing 10 to the left side, we get 8 minus 10 equals to minus b, right? 9 minus 8 is 1, right? Which is 8 minus 10 is minus 2. And therefore, we get b as equals to 2, correct? Once you get b equals to 2, you know the equation, correct? So now we can write down our final solution, which is f of x is equals to minus b is 2 for us, x minus b is 8 for us, plus c which is 10. So that is how you can get equation. Now as a check, how can you check this? So what you should do is, you should check for the point 10, 6. So if you substitute 10 for x, do you get 6? That is what is the check. So if I write 10 here, what do I get? Let me check here. f of x equals to minus 2 to the power of 10 minus 8 plus 10. So that will give me minus 2 to the power of 10 minus 8 is 2 plus 10. That is indeed minus 4 plus 10 and that is indeed equal to 6. That means this point falls on the curve itself and therefore our equation represents the graph. That is how you should actually solve this kind of equation. 
I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.